Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Brad, and we are back in Dead Island. And if my audio sounds a bit different, that is because I'm using a different headset now. Um, let's see what we're doing. We just got this truck fixed. So let's go to quest. Uh, let's go get a necklace. I think I'll do some side quests this, this episode. Stuck on the gate. Oh, there's like a massive glare patch right in the middle of my screen. Shit's ridiculous. You can review hints in the extras menu. Well, weapons I have as well. Brass, paddle. Brass knuckles and a paddle, is that it? Fuck. Are you guys going to be helping back up? Are you? Nope, but I can hear something behind me. Ah, oh, and I just had to move. Ugh. Oh, that's you still breathing. I thought there was someone else coming up behind me. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should. L oh, yep. <laughs> Probably should stock up on some more. What's this? Oh, I don't need this anymore. More weapons. Uh, energy drink. Where's it going? Bungalow... something? Seven? Oh. Oh, this guy come ah! Hit him! <laughs> Imagine you walk along just seeing someone just like... Swinging in the air above a zombie. Your weapon is badly damaged and ineffective. I highly disagree with you because my fists are like bricks. Oh! Oh! oh. Sneak up on me, huh? I wonder if zombies can strategize. Hey! Frank, you go lay down next to the pool. When our friend comes along, start to get up. John and I will attack from the rear. Oh, someone by me. Everyone know their positions? All right, three, two, one, split. I have skill points? Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, I probably could use the Fury. In my own personal playthrough, I don't use the Fury as much as I probably should. Because apparently that thing can come in handy. Me, handy. Please. Well, I'll help you out. Please. Please. I need your help. I'm coming. Please. Hey. My husband. Hang on. I'm here for some necklace. There we go. Anything good in here? Yep. Thirty-eight dollars. Okay. What do you want? Nope. You want me to talk to this dude? Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We we were driving like a bat out of hell when I saw that broke down car. Part of me said, "Forget about it," but I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with Forgot myself, about so we stopped it. to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something, because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. Mm -hmm. I had to, uh, had to kill him. But <gasps> this was self-defense. I was Murder. protecting myself. No. You gotta believe me. No way. Uh, but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Oh, that's okay. Shit. I think I got whatever he had. Uh, rabies. I don't know. Fuck. Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Bloody Valentine, take Jessica to the lighthouse. Let's do it. Hey, man. Let's do Thanks. it. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. Her I will. James should be there. He'll take her in. Okay. Let me go.
Hey, what baby. What is happening here? We are going to the lighthouse. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Unless, do I have to bring this into the radius? Can we so piss five? So come on. Come on. Does anyone else have the problem when they first start up a car that it does not want to drive? I mean, it'll drive forward, but it won't steer for them. Come on, lady. I can hear zombies coming. Is she serious? Why will you not move? Oh, there we... Oh, and I almost run her over as well. Get out of the front of the car. Front of the car. Hop in. Wow. Wow. Let's go then. In a zombie infested tropical island, the hardest part I have had to face so far is to get that bitch into my car. Oh, straight up. I mean, what? Why can't you trust a random stranger in a car that he's just stolen? Society these days, tell you what. Oh, come on. Shut up, Evan. Oh, I think we got a live one. There are people living in the lighthouse. Hey, mate, you look like a boyfriend. Thank you. Can you check on my husband? Oh my god. I guess I gotta go back that way anyway to give it. Hey, you got something for me? What do you have? Whoa, whoa, don't walk away from me. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's go back. Hopefully, I can remember where to stop and find. Oh, stupid. <sighs> so, there's been two problems I've had with this game. It's not, it's been. It hasn't been anything that's stopped me from playing the game completely, but the two things are rendering. Like if you enter a new place really quickly, sometimes it'll take a little while for the um, you know, the detail to come in, and that can sometimes be a little bit annoying. And the only other thing that has bothered me is what I talked about before when when you first start up a car and start driving. Okay, he was in here. You'll, um, you can drive forward and reverse, but you won't be able to steer for like a couple of seconds. It's pretty ridiculous. Was it this one? Oh, he's a zombie! He's a zombie! Oh. Not today, buddy. You will not make her unhappy. Not now! I will take this $11 and this wooden plank. So I'm going to smack me some bitches. Also, another thing you'll find about playing this game. Oh, I can hear him. Oh, stupid. Yep, same thing. Can't fucking turn when I start. One thing you'll find about this game is you'll be running a lot more than you'll be fighting. Unless you get those ones that'll be like hot on your heels the whole way. Then you've got no choice but to fight him. But apart from that, if you can outrun it, 80% of the time you will outrun it. Unless you need the experience. Let's go give this bitch a necklace. She made her risk. Oh. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Hank. Can I get through here? Nope. Hey, Kelly. Yes. This is it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. The shading around your neck looks really weird, lady. 
I don't mean to be rude. What's that? Oh, I gotta drop something. Fine, I'll drop the plank of wood. No, but my guy's good with blunt weapons. I'll drop that. I'll take this. And we will start on another quest, shall we? Help Mike and Dominic. Which one was Mike? Bring fuel from the gas station. Okay, let's do that. Actually, let's go and repair. Wait, I don't think I've got anything to repair. Oh. Uh, no point in upgrading it yet anyway. You want to come with me, Hank? Let's roll. Oh, this is ridiculous. I wonder if that's like meant to be part of the game mechanic or if it's just a bug or... Because <clears throat> the last thing I want is... 10 zombies hot on my heel and me having trouble just trying to steer this goddamn thing. Whoa! Now guys, don't be fooled. No, this is not a demo for Need for Speed The Run. This is just some badass driving. Oh. Some badass driving by an Australian. Crikey! Look at that one, we nearly hit him. Oh shit. These are some interesting specimens here. Hey, look, there's someone in the window. Hey, hey you! Go over to the door! Uh, give me a sec to open it. This door? Come on, quick! Close this shit up. Oh, you've been bit. You you stay away from me. I'll talk I'll talk to Dan over here. You stay over there near the door. What you want gas? Uh, sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. You know, maybe there's another way in. They try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. Yo, know, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there. <laughs>